In this video, I want to show you how to calculate residual income. So let's say we're trying to find the residual income for a department of a company. We would take that department's income or profit, and then we would subtract the following. We'd subtract a required return times the amount of the investment that was made in that department. When I'm talking about required return, I'm talking, this would be set by top management. And so top management would say to the departments, okay, listen, we expect that you have a return of at least 10% on any investments we make in the department. So if there's $500,000 of capital that's allocated to the department by corporate, then they would expect the 10% return. So it would be 50,000 would be this part. And so if the company had 80,000 or the division had $80,000 of profit, then you would take the 80,000 minus this 50,000 and they'd have $30,000 of residual income. Okay, so you could think about this required return as interest that is being charged by top management. They're saying, listen, if we're gonna give money to each department, we expect a certain return. There is a required return and then any amount of money that the department brings in in terms of profit that is over and above the required return, let's say they're expected to have 10%, well, if they can exceed that, then that's the residual income. So it's the amount that they earn over and above what they're expected to do. Okay, so we'll do a more in-depth example. So let's say we've got a division at your company. They're given $2 million of capital. Okay, so they've got $2 million and then the company has a policy where each division is charged 12% for the capital they employ. Okay, so there's gonna be a 12% capital charge on that $2 million of capital. And then let's just say the division has a $300,000 profit. So then the question would be, what is the residual income? Well, we're gonna take this $300,000 profit, that's our income for the division, and then we're gonna subtract the required return times the amount of the investment. So 12% times 2 million. So that is gonna be $240,000 and that's subtracted from the profit, okay? So the residual income for this division would be $60,000.